Dr. Smith? Hey, Thomas. What are you doing here? I just came over to check up on Jennifer's cancer. Why were you hiding on the floor? Why are you wrapped in the blanket? Oh no, it's this new um, medical cancer procedure where you take the, the blanket Victor, over. I've had enough. Yes, I cheated on you. So what? But I thought you loved me. I never loved you. I only used you for your money. We got married. We said our vows. So what? It's 2022. Marriages mean nothing nowadays. I gave up everything for you, okay? I sold my house, everything my parents gave me, all just to pay for your treatments. Exactly. And now you have nothing. Women don't want to marry men who don't have money. So you're leaving me then? Yes, I'm leaving you forever. Honey? Honey, I'm home. How you feeling? I brought you something. Honey, how are you doing? Hey, honey, uh, you're back home early. Yeah, well, been working so hard the last month. Boss gave me two hours of lunch. Figured I'd stop by and bring you a little something. Aw, thank you. You're so sweet. <coughs> <coughs> Look, I really think we should schedule you a second opinion with a different doctor. I mean, you're sounding worse every day. There's no need. I already told you. I saw the best cancer doctor there is in the entire state, Dr. Smith. Yeah, but he never lets me in when he's treating you. I would really like to see what he's doing to make sure he's not making any mistake. Honey, that's just how he works. It's part of his process. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, it's just his cough. It won't go away. Poor thing. <laughs> Honey, I don't want you to see me like this. It's embarrassing. I think you should go. Honey, you know I will never leave your side, no matter how bad it gets, okay? Remember our vows, for better or worse? Of course I do. It's just, we haven't even had our wedding. Well, not yet, but with all the medical bills I've had to be paying Dr. Smith, I haven't been able to afford it, but don't worry, okay? When you're better, we are gonna have the biggest wedding this world has ever seen. Mm. I love you, baby. I love you too, but shouldn't you go to work? Oh yeah, almost time for my shift. Yeah, uh, better hurry up, we need that money, remember? Don't worry, I'll make sure we always have enough money for your treatments, okay? Baby, I love you so much. I thank God every day that he gave me an amazing husband like you. And I thank God every day he gave me such a kind-hearted woman as you, and someone who will never hurt me, always be by my side, always loyal. Thank you, I'll see you later. I love you. I'll see you tonight. Bye. Okay, the loser's gone. You can come out now. Finally, I thought he'd never leave. <laughs> I can't believe he still thinks you have cancer. <laughs> Weak men like him are so easy to manipulate by beautiful mm -hmm. girls like me. By the way, how much money have we made, Dr. Smith? <laughs> well, I sent him another $10,000 bill last week, so that puts us at $70,000. Okay, so we need about $30,000 more until I can leave that schmuck, and then you and I can go to Hawaii and have the time of our lives. <laughs> well, how long would that be? Uh, the loser works three jobs, but only brings in around $5,000 a month, so I'm thinking it'll be around... Seven months? Seven months? That's way too long. I think I might have chosen the wrong girl for this job. I think I need to look for someone else. No, please. I can do this. Okay, fine. I'll give you one week, but if you can't, I'm leaving you. There are plenty of girls who want me. Okay, I'm on it. Watch this. Hello? Honey, everything okay? <coughs> Honey, Dr. Smith called and said that I need to go in for an operation. And that it's really urgent. Uh, of course, uh, anything to make you better. Aww. You're the best husband ever. <coughs> <coughs> but honey, here's the thing. The doctor said that the operation is gonna cost $30,000. How much? $30,000. I know it's a lot, baby, but I told the doctor that 
you love me and that you'd find a way to pay for it. I, I want to pay it, honey, but I, I just don't know how. I mean, I'm already working three jobs. I had to take out a loan for the 20000 for the last operation. I thought you loved me, Thomas, but now I can see all you care about is money. No, it's, it's not that. I mean, I just, I want to pay it. I just don't know how. What about this house? My mother's house? Yeah, can't you get a second mortgage on it or something? This house means a lot to our family. My mom gave it to me when she passed away. So you care more about a house than you do about me? I thought you didn't care about materialistic things. No, no, of course you mean more to me than a house. Okay, I'll do it. If this is the operation that could make you better, then it's worth it. Oh, you're the best husband ever. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I love you so much. I love you too. Uh, I'll see you when you get home. I'll see you at home. <laughs> I told you I could get it done. You sure did. <laughs> now come on, Dr. Smith. Why don't you examine me one more time for <sighs> cancer? Yes, ma'am. After putting his house for a second mortgage, Thomas still needed $10,000 more. So he decided to look around the house for stuff that he could sell. He eventually found some of the old boxes that belonged to his grandmother, but next to them he found a painting. So he decided to send it to an expert to see if it was worth anything. Wake up. Hmm. Wake up. What? Oh, he's here. Wake well, no. up. Oh, you're awake. Uh. Where's your blanket? Why does your skin look like that? Um, it's the cancer. My mom had leukemia. She did never look like that. Your legs almost look normal. I guess I'm healing. Where's your blanket? Dr. Smith? Hey, Thomas. What are you doing here? Um, I just came over to check up on Jennifer's cancer. Why were you hiding on the floor? Why are you wrapped in the blanket? Oh no, it's this new um, medical cancer procedure where you take the, the blanket and then you put it over the patient's body and you know, to create some heat and make the cancer cells go away. Yeah, Dr. Smith just came over to try that new treatment. Is that makeup? No, of course not. Have you been using makeup to look sick? No, no, of course not. Have you been faking this entire time? How could you do this to me? Thomas, really, um, uh, I'm telling you, I just came Victor, I've had enough. I'm tired of living this lie, plus we have all of the money that we need anyway. Yes, I cheated on you. So what? <sighs> but I thought you loved me. I never loved you. I only used you for your money. We got married. We said our vows. So what? It's 2022. Marriages mean nothing nowadays. I gave up everything for you, okay? I sold my house, everything my parents gave me, all just to pay for your treatments. Exactly. And now you have nothing. Women don't want to marry men who don't have money. So you're leaving me then? Yes, I'm leaving you forever. Come on, Victor, help me pack up. Let's go. Hello? Hello, is this Thomas? Yes, this is Thomas. Well, you better be sitting down for this because I have some amazing news for you. Remember those paintings you sent me to check to see if they were worth anything? Yeah, the one from my grandma's old stuff. Well, those paintings are original Monet's. What does that mean? Yes, Thomas, Monet, the famous painter. So that means the paintings are worth millions of dollars. Congratulations. Me? A multi-millionaire? I'll go ahead and get the details sorted out and we'll be in touch soon, okay? Bye. 
Honey, what was that call about? It's the, apparently that painting I sold that was my grandmother's is an original Monet. It's worth millions. Oh my God, honey, we're gonna be rich. I thought you were leaving with Victor. Victor? Ew, no, I never wanted him. I always wanted you. What, are you serious? Yes, and actually, come to think of it, you manipulated me to break up with my husband. Wow, I can't believe this. Come on, Thomas, let's have that wedding that we always wanted. No, you know what? You didn't want me a second ago, and now suddenly that I'm rich, you change your mind? No. <laughs> well, fine, I didn't want you anyways. Victor, come on, let's go. No way. What? I'm leaving you too. What about the money? I'm taking the money with me. But Thomas, please, we can make this work. I honestly think that if we try, we can make this work together. Stop, please. just stop, okay? Out, now. Remember, it's very important to know that we should be loved by who we are and not by what we have. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to share it with all of your friends and family to make sure they can also receive the message. Like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And remember, here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place, one story at a time.